referee tonight, Pierre-Luc Lozier. Kickoff is brought to you by Proven IT. 20 games, 20 points, 20 goals scored. And there's an opportunity on the right-hand side here for Seattle on the counter-attack, and here they go. This is ominous. Morris on the outside of uh, Bornstein, and he calls a great save out of Slanina, who's hurt his left arm in doing so. You don't make full contact, the arm sort of snaps back. This is some save here by Ga Gaga Slonina. Look at the move here, just to push it and run. Oh, and it might be Navarro here when he follows through. Watch right at the end there, he steps on Slonina's hand. There's Navarro. Gutierrez in the penalty area, won't reach it, but he does reach it, Bill Cuts, an excellent save by Cleveland. Gutierrez wasn't far from the rebound either. Mueller again, claims of handball, no penalty. One thing you notice here, only three guys forward. There's not a lot of runners behind. There's a misplay here by Nuhu. It bounces up nicely, and Shagoko doesn't get all of it. It does bounce in front of Stephen Cleveland, which makes it a little bit more difficult, but it's at a good height. It's about waist height. Shabilko. Jimenez, lovely close control from him. With Navarro, the chance, Sia! What a goal for the Chicago Fire! He gets his second in a week. Fede Navarro with a three ball into the penalty area. And the captain, Rafa Sihos, with a pinpoint header into the corner. It's been coming again. Draw it up, I guess, right? Your defensive midfielder picks up a ball here after a restart. And your captain and your center back, and clearly onside there makes a run in between Kellen Rowe and Adiaga and what a perfect ball here from Fetty Navarro and Shehos makes no mistake about it nothing Stephen Cleveland can do you can see him split two defenders just waiting at the top of the box yeah throwing his arms up in the air in a couple plays a couple decisions from his players here that's a delightful ball by Shakiri. And Brian Gutierrez is clean through. Gutierrez for the fire, saved by Cleveland. Denied his first home goal for the Chicago Fire. Ball played through here by Gaston Jimenez. Good run in between Kellen Rowe and the center back. The Amar this time. Gutierrez, this ball gets stuck underneath his feet a little bit and really can't get a lot of power on it. I think it checked up on him as he looked up. Who hasn't made a ton of runs? How is he finding so much space? I think part of it is getting Shakiri involved in the middle of the field to defend a little bit. Pineda on his right foot. And it was straight to Cleveland. Makes a lovely switch from the set piece by Jordan Shakiri. The second one dealing with Christian Roldan moving more centrally. And then that allows Kellen Rowe to move up and down the right flank. So then that puts Johnny Bornstein in a tough spot. And then also Kasper Shbilko dropping deeper in a defensive position to deal with Danny Leva in the middle of the park. There may have been a deflection there for a corner. That's what the fire players are arguing about. Swung in. And he cleared by Shbilko. Now Alex Roldan out wide for Seattle. Oh, suspicion of handball. It was an awkward looking block by that sound as defender was it Ruznak in the penalty area here's Torres on his right foot gets the shot away and it was on target and Cleveland was smartly down Jordan Shakiri got magic in those feet particularly the left foot it's an in swinger oh it was almost in for an Olympico it was tipped over by Cleveland it's another corner we talked about this this crowding of the goalkeeper we saw it off the crossbar in San Jose the fire is starting to climb the Eastern Conference that's it Rafa Sihos with the only goal of the game an incredible show of tenacity